Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. This is Rocky and this will be a super sweet movie review of 14 Blades, the Donnie Yen film. Now, 14 Blades was directed by Daniel Lee and released back in 2010. Um, I just recently came across this movie on Netflix, uh, gave it a view, and thought I'd let you guys know about it. So, 14 Blades stars Donnie Yen as uh, Quinn Long and Zhao Wei as Kwai Huey. Sorry about that. Kwai Huey uh, is the character name. And also guest stars Sam Hung, Wu Chan, Daniel Lau, and quite a few other characters that we've seen in other Donnie Yen films, um, as well as uh, period piece uh, Hong Kong films. Um, so the basic gist of the movie is that uh, it's the story of Quinn Long, um, who's the head of the Jinue, um, and he's on, you know, a dangerous mission. The Jinue do come from uh, history, and they were essentially the secret police of the Emperor, and could do anything in service of the Emperor. They were basically outside of the normal chain of command and law and everything like that. So, um, in the movie, they depict these this group as essentially all orphans, and the strongest of them would become... Uh, Quinn Long and would basically lose their name and they would gain possession of the 14 blades which were these weapons kept in a box each blade was used for a different purpose some for interrogating some for um, killing a Jinue that killed a brother some for you know stopping criminals just each blade had a different purpose and again all kept kind of in a box and the Quinn uh, the Quinn Long, Quinn Long would uh, receive a tattoo as well on their body it's kind of their way of their title basically in their way of being set apart from the rest of their group. Um, for the most part, the movie does follow Donnie Yen's character, um, as again, he's working on this mission supposedly from the Emperor. Um, for the most part, it's a very linear story. There's not a lot of branching off, and um, you get a good sense early on exactly how the movie's going to play out at the end. And, you know, this isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but I would have liked to have seen more exploration of the Quinlong Long character. Um, just some other motivations of him, you know, a little bit more about his history. We only get a little bit of that, but just a little bit more about the character, I think, would have been great to see. Um, all in all, the best moments of the, the movie were between Donnie Yen and Zhao Wei. Um, their characters uh, interacting with each other. There's a lot of emotion get, that gets brought up, and um, it's nice to see Donnie Yen play a little bit more of a dramatic role. Granted, some of it comes across a little stiff, but... It's just nice seeing him trying to push himself in, in more of an acting as opposed to relying purely on, you know, fighting ability. Now, there are some, some pretty good fight scenes in this. There's not a ton of them. And the best ones, of course, are the more, you know, traditional non-special effects, non-wire fight scenes where you see, you know, Don Yen, he's developing this movie style of uh, fight choreography that implements a lot of, like, MMA and... Uh, Jeet Kune Do um, aspects as opposed to like traditional uh, Kung Fu or Wire Fu um, action scenes. So, you know, like I said, the ones that relied purely on the fighting were really great. The fight scenes that relied more on the wires and the uh, CGI effects were not very good because the, they just didn't seem to be very polished. They didn't take that extra step to kind of smooth things out, I thought. Um, just my opinion on it. Um... So it was really nice. We actually see Sam Hung. You know, he gets a little guest spot in here. But for the most part, unfortunately, a lot of the other characters, including the main, you know, villain of the movie, just kind of disappeared to me while I was watching the movie. Um, you know, we see some pretty interesting weapons, including the 14 Blades. Um, there's the uh, uh, leader of the, the sand um, uh, eagle people, or sky eagles, sorry. And he has kind of a double-bladed sword. You know, some interesting things, but, you know, again, it didn't really add much to the story, I thought. Um, it was, you know, a pretty enjoyable movie for the most part. Like I said, not the biggest plot in the world. Um, you know, it would have been nice to see, like I said, a little more branching off. Very linear. Um, what I'd recommend on this is, I definitely recommend 
you know, maybe streaming this if you have Netflix or if someone you know has it. But I wouldn't recommend picking this one up um, or, you know, paying money to rent it, unfortunately. Which is sad to say because I'm a huge fan of Donnie Yen's movies and his choreography and everything. But, yeah, this movie just didn't do it for me. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Have you guys checked out 14 Blades? What did you think of it? And what do you think is uh, Donnie Yen's best film? Go ahead and put that down in the comments below as well. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and share. And definitely subscribe to my channel as I will be doing uh, additional movie reviews that I see. As well as I do do my weekly reviews of the Marvel and DC television shows going on right now. If you have, gone ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on board. Hope you're enjoying the videos. All that being said, hope you all have a great rest of your day now. Bye.